Fruit Style here. Um, back on my favourite, one of my favourite mediums and methods of working because I've got ideas for some new work. And this is using the cocoon strippings. This, these are the waste of the cocoons, uh, silk waste. And uh, I love them, the texture, and I love them because they're so easy to use. And just to do my advertising spiel first, that's a bag of, for a, of 100 grams, cost you $14. And you can have lots of fun with that. And of course you can get them from us. Now back to this. Um, the cocoon strippings make superb paper. All you need is some baking paper, uh, the strippings, some water and an iron. So it's dampness and heat that does the trick. Now they've, you can of course card them properly, comb them out. I'm just doing a little bit here to show you. Um, but And you can fill them up later. So you want to do a fairly light little piece first. And you can always fill in the gaps later on. But you can put them through your cut, little carding machines or whatever you're doing. It just depends on you and the response you want. You'll see that they're white. Now, the reason that they work is because they have inside them, they are raw materials and they possibly would have just been wasted in the past. I don't know. But they've got the natural glue or sericin in them. So when you do this, which is to apply some heat, some water only. The water supply is a bit low today. And cover it with another she second sheet of baking paper and then iron them. Doesn't take that long. I just do the same both sides. And lift them off. Take I always, they always say to let it cure, but basically you've got a sheet of silk paper. Now there's little holes there, and it may be that you want now to fill in the gaps with more fibres. But as it stands on its own, it's quite a lovely little piece. Um, and onto that, uh, you can colour it. I usually do the colouring afterwards. I can spot colour and things. I never use anything like an acrylic paint because the acrylic will just sit on the top. So I use a water-based paint. I use my sprays, of course. Um, but then onto that, you can add all sorts of other things. Now, not long ago, it was our wedding anniversary. So let's just pop. This is a print on Silk Organza, Extra Organza from Jagard. And I've just printed our little photo of the two of us. That's 53 years ago for those who missed it. And I'll put it back down and I'll just wet it again and let's see what happens to the image. It's been printed through the inkjet printer on the extravaganza. And we'll just iron it. Now if it works, we need to use it in something, uh, a little piece. There. And here it is. All the not quite, needs a bit more water. I see my water bottles playing up. But... Never ever does it close up. So I'll just do this. Remember, creativity is the, the base of all of our activities. So you pop that down there. Give it another iron and normally they'll say to let it cure but and you would you don't want to start working on it when it's wet because having done that you can as i said you can color it and there we go and there we are and that's second another one that i've done so you can see it's exactly the same it's been popped into there and i'll show you some of the things other things that I've done. I'm going to work on this thing for a few weeks. So this is a, a letter uh, which a cousin of mine wrote because I do a lot of family research and I printed it onto tissue text. Um, obviously keep your originals for photos and things and then that's worked onto it. Now what I would prefer to do is to do piecemeal bits and pieces rather than just the whole thing on there. But that's just the silk, the strippings on the back. 
And another thing I would do uh, is to, I've done the same thing here. I put the strippings down and on top of it, I put a tissue text printing. It's about my family. And over the top of that, I've put in this case, uh, Magellan silk, uh, which is lovely and fine. And that just gives that top bit, that's all you can see it there, works in well because it's just the glue in the, in the, um, in the fibers that glues everything together. So that's just my first little thing. Uh, and I'll just show you here what I've done because I'm going to come back and keep working on it. And these are just some little ones I did. This is my mother from years ago uh, and a, a photo I'd printed, uh, some scrim that I put on, some lace that's all adhered to it and then lots of stitching. So it's just a little memento. And again, with my grandmother, this is something I had stitched, scanned, printed. That's part of a serviette and you can write on the tissue text and that's part of that letter there and some lace again. So if that's given you a few ideas, come back and see me again and see what else I'm going to be doing. So have a great day, see ya.